I'm Garlic with the Urban Herb School, the Kootenai School of Herbal Medicine, and the Living Medicine Project. And I'm making this video today because I want to share a really important idea with you that I don't really hear often enough uh, within discussions of herbal medicine uh, or potentially healing and nature connection in general. And that's this, that the medicine of a plant, the value of a plant, is not found in its chemistry alone. Uh, so let's look at an example, but let's let's turn it around. See, what happens is lots of the time, plant books, plant teachers, they talk a lot about active constituents. They'll list the chemicals that are found in this plant or that plant, and from there they try to extrapolate some meaning. And sometimes that's really valid. I'm not trying to contradict that. I'm just saying that it's missing some really important pieces. You know, let's say that you're sitting at a table with a group of friends and another friend of yours walks up and your friends have never met this friend of yours. And so you're like, hey, everybody, this is my friend Mary. She's 57% water. She's 65% oxygen. She's 35% hydrogen. She's 16% nitrogen. And woo, she's like 1.4% potassium. And it's incredible. Right? It's, nobody's going to do that. It's not, it's not a good introduction. It doesn't help your friends get to know why this person is important to you. It doesn't help them get a sense of connection with, with her value, with her importance, um, or with her meaning, like with her role in society, or the things that she does, or the contributions that she makes. And so this is a piece that's so often missing with an emphasis on active ingredients in looking at plants simply as tiny green chemists. And believe me, they are incredible. These plants, I mean all plants, are incredible chemists that are able to pull different pieces uh, out of the soil, out of the water, out of the air, match it together, create incredible chemistry. And lots of that chemistry uh, is part of its mechanism for how it heals our bodies. But we're not just our bodies. We are also, we also have minds and we have emotions and we have spirits. And plants, being from the same place we are, we've all sprung from the same earth, are actually as multi-layered as we are. And they have this capacity to touch our hearts, to heal our emotions and our minds and our spirits. There's a quote from Henry David Thoreau that I love that touches on this very point. I'm going to check my book here so I get it right. It's the marriage of the soul with nature, which makes the intellect fruitful and gives birth to imagination. And that's, that's part of what's necessary. Uh, and we live in a world that really doesn't value imagination. It's cute for children, but as adults, you know, we're supposed to have grown out of that or something. And so our capacity to imagine often withers and atrophies. And if you want to learn to connect with plants and to be able to get a sense of their personality and, uh, and their role in the ecosystem, like their meaning, like why they're here and what they're here to do, so often, well, you need to open up this, this side of yourself and re-exercise, re start to practice again your capacity to imagine, your, your capacity to use your imagination and your heart. So often, people miss the forest for the trees, you could say, quite literally. They don't get a sense of the personality of a plant. They don't take the time to get to know a plant. They don't take the time to look in the grass and see a tiny little plant and understand what it's doing to help the ecosystem. And in doing that, you can find out a great deal about the medicine of a plant. So here's another little secret, is that what plants, whatever plants do uh, to restore balance in the ecosystem, it almost always matches what they do to restore balance in us, because we are also an ecosystem, uh, especially our, our gut and all of, the, all of the bacteria that fill our guts. There's such a plethora. Uh, when we're healthy, we have a great diversity of bacteria in our guts. We are these living ecosystems, and plants medicine can be found in understanding their personality, in understanding the roles that they play in, in, in the forest, 
in the meadows, in the deserts, whatever they're doing there, oftentimes we can directly uh, connect that with how it's been used for hundreds, sometimes thousands of years as a medicine plant. Now, if this is the kind of thing that lights up your heart, if it really brings out an aliveness, if you're watching this video and bobbing your head, uh, then I want to invite you to check out uh, a weekend workshop that I'm doing in Vancouver. It's called uh, Healing with the Spirit of Herbs. It's a weekend workshop for folks who really want to deepen their connection with the plant world, with medicinal plants and with the living world around them. And I'm going to invite you to, to check out the link below. At least I'm going to put it below when I send this out. And, uh, and if it feels like a good fit, then I invite you to come and explore the world with us, explore the green world and learn about your heart field and learn about dreaming with plants and learning about connecting with, uh, with those, uh, with the imaginal realms, those parts of ourselves, which are able to find meaning and communicate with the non-linear aspects of the reality that's all around us. If it doesn't feel like a good fit, that's okay. I hope this video has been of value to you. If it does feel like uh, it connects, then uh, I invite you to, to come and join us. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me an email and share what, uh, what your questions are, and I'll do what I can to get them answered, and, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to play in the uh, woods of Pacific Spirit Park together, connecting with plants, because it's such a beautiful place, and we're going to have a whole lot of fun on the weekend of June 25th and 26th in Vancouver, BC. So thanks so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.